do is just stick the barbed end into the fitting and so when you're loosening up these brass fittings you're going to want to tighten it up and then loosen it afterwards otherwise if you just try and loosen it generally you'll just strip it i need another wrench to hold hold this elbow in place while you're loosening up the other part but yeah to replace the air hose is what you do we're going to use quick splice fitting show you how to use those real quick stick the barbed end into the fitting and you put the other two pieces together and you're going to slide the little brass ring on top all right so you see this uh, smaller groove in here it's important that that smaller groove goes into the groove of the fitting and so you're going to want to butt the fitting perfectly up against that just like that and as you can see got that part there i'm going to want to butt that you know together and then you're going to slide the collar in but you got to squeeze the shit out of this before you do it the vice grips will hold together and then somehow you got to get this ring on there with your bare hand. What I like to do is I like to take the open end of a wrench, 7 8 that you used to put on there, and then you just squeeze it onto there somehow. Sometimes you got to tap it with a hammer. But we're running into the vice grips now, so we're going to move these up a little bit. We'll get it. The technique that I use, I put the tip of the vice grips on here and I hold it and I squeeze the vice grips and just move it just a little bit at a time. Then move these vice grips up a little bit, squeeze them again. Taking little bites, a little bit of progress there. A little bit of progress there. And what you want to do is you want to get it past that lip then you're home free. Look at that satisfying last click right there. Bam! Right there on the collar. And then we're just going to tighten that up. Well first you got to put a uh, hex head, Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it, into here. Tighten it up. Just give it a couple turns. Make sure your ratchet is on. And now just get it tight in there. Just give it a couple turns. And then we're gonna screw before we screw it in, we're gonna put some thread tape on. Make sure you keep this perfectly flat and don't twist it at all. But here's the thing. You're going to be twisting this clockwise, so you want your tape to actually be the opposite direction. Or, I guess counterclockwise, I got those mixed up, but it don't matter. And you put it on there kind of tight, but you make sure it's flat and you don't twist it. That should be good. You make a sixteenth, I think it is. Yeah, they make a thread tape uh, that's actually a paste. Not a bad idea. It's 
thread tape is kind of a pain to deal with. There we go, we got a bite on there. And like I said, when you turn it this way, it's actually tightening up the thread tape. So. Alright, hit the trailer brakes, no leaks.